Hey guys, Vacation Voyagers here. Five days left until our Freedom of the Seas cruise. Fixing to pack, get all of our stuff together, headed to Miami, and we got news that Southwest decided to cancel thousands of flights. Guess what airline <laughs> we are taking? Yeah, yeah. we did. Mm -hmm. We have five days left. Mm -hmm. Everything's good except we have a flight leaving out of Nashville to Miami on Friday, the day that we leave on our cruise. And now we find out that all of these flights have been canceled through Southwest and we are not sure of how that's going to affect us Friday, but we have a feeling that it's going to affect us Friday. Or it potentially could. They said that they weren't doing a lot of the reschedules for um, 48 hours. So a lot of them that were canceled over the weekend, they can't even start trying to get them on home until Tuesday. The biggest problem that we have is when we were watching all these uh, news stories about it is people were getting canceled as they were walking into the airport to get on their flight. This wasn't a, they got it the day before, two days before. It was minutes before they got on their flight. They found out their flights were canceled and it was going to take two to three days to even get them home or wherever they were going. You know, normally if we were going on a regular vacation, if we were, you know, had a trip planned where we didn't have to be on a ship at a certain time and it's going to sell off, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. But <laughs> we got to be on the ship at a certain time or it's going to cruise without us. So we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, so we've been thinking of backup plans. Obviously one of them would be to drive to Miami, which is a 13 hour drive from where we live. Some of us don't like to drive. Well, I don't, I, I get car sick. That's a long time in a car. It's a very it, long time in a it car. It could potentially affect the outcome of it. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, if they do what they've done today, which is Sunday, and cancel it last second, and we decide to take the chance, and we don't get any information from Southwest, until the next morning, we're done. We can't cruise. You know, we can't make it from here to Miami. That's a 13-hour drive in what two hours? That's not going to happen. So, so, so we're wondering what everybody else is doing. If anybody knows any other information, right now they say it's because of weather. So they're saying the reason they released a statement saying the reason why this is happening is because of weather issues and air traffic control issues. And okay, I would buy that if all the other flights and all the other airlines were having the same issue, but Southwest is the only one having this issue. So I don't see how that is affecting one airline and not the other 30. So, you know, there's all these, you know, rumors and stuff going around it's about- It's 28% of Southwest flights, but American had 2% and Spirit had four. Okay. So, so yeah. a quarter of the flights of Southwest is canceling and like two to three to four percent of everybody else is. Yeah. The other ones are more like normal numbers, they say. So, so we'll see. So what's everybody else doing? Are you an employee of Southwest and want to put down in the comments? You know? Yeah, put down in the comments what we need to do. If you got a little inside info, you like to let us know because, you know, now we're also thinking, do we need to book another flight? right to get there uh, because again we're cruising so we can't be late for our cruise and not only that we also have to take our covid test before we leave the cruise and that's a whole other obstacle that we have to do yeah does anybody else get nervous before they take that covid test i'm like i'm I we're, doing, anxiety yeah. <laughs> we're doing it online we uh -huh. we ordered the test the at-home tests that are okayed by the cruise lines yeah, we have to take that Wednesday, and we've got four people in the house that have to take it. So, yeah, that's another thing. As a matter of fact, my... <laughs> cousin. You, cousin. No, you're my your wife. Cousin. No, you're my wife. Cousin bought some uh, tests to try to practice more. I just wanted to practice running, you know? Just, she bought some practice tests. Just, yeah. Just, so we didn't screw them up. We got plenty of tests because... We, I have seen videos of people, though, that have made small, yeah. small mistakes. Dropping their test samples. $25. 
twenty five dollars. <laughs> twenty five. You know, so. It'll yeah. be interesting, but I mean that was our biggest worry. And now that's like. <laughs> Gotta get there. Yeah, we gotta get there now. It's like, yeah, you all pass. Oh, but you can't fly anymore. So, yeah, yeah, we need some help with this. So we're we're gonna keep up on. Obviously, we're gonna keep track of this, and we're gonna see what's going on, and we're going to, you know, if there's any updates that we can find out, you know, I'll obviously post another video and let you guys know what we're going through. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we got five days left, and um, I think you have a backup plan which is probably another flight we might do that i don't know just it, let us know let us know what you're going to be doing and we'll let you know what we find out and first first cruise in two years <laughs> what could go wrong <laughs> thanks Bye, <y> <laughs>